You know what really irks me sometimes? You know, whenever you're browsing Tinder or whatever, and you come across a profile that has like five different people in the picture, and you're like, like, oh, which one are you? Like, who who are you in this picture? How are you going to sit here and post this picture? This is the picture you're going to use for your profile. It's got like six different people in it. How am I supposed to figure out which one you are, dude? Like, all I've got to work with is a name. That's it. Like, any one of these people could be an Emily, could be a Taylor, could be a, a Cassandra, dude. I don't know who you are. Why do you post? Why do people post pictures, use pictures with multiple people in the picture for their profile picture on tinder or whatever dude that's incredible that's just what that that just irks me that just that just irks me a little bit i had to get that off my chest really quick but it truly hurts it's truly disheartening to see one of your favorite fast food joints just slowly turn into an amalgamation of nonsense you know what i mean like it, it's it's disheartening it's it's painful to witness taco bell our local Taco Bell, at least, has been in a, a steady decline for the longest time now. Now, I do understand that we are in some troubling times and some trying times. I do understand that. But it has been, let's just say, it's been rough for a good bit of time now. It's It's been rough. It has been rough. Like, one time I went up there, their fryer wasn't working. The one time I decided to, to order some of their... um. What are those little things called? The little cinnamon twist things? My sister wanted some. She told me to get some cinnamon twist while I was up there. Their fryer wasn't working, so you couldn't get cinnamon twist, and you couldn't get a whole bunch of other nonsense. And then another time, their cashier system was just down completely. I had made it to the intercom, and then the person over the intercom told me the wait is going to be about 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what 45 minutes to an hour i've made it to the point where i can order the grub but it's still gonna take that long dude what's going on and then today today they were out of lettuce they were out of lettuce at the taco bell dude that is incredible see but they didn't tell us they didn't tell us until after we had ordered our food so here we are we're just sitting in line chilling we already ordered our food we're just waiting to get the food now the lady comes and brings us the food and she says sorry for the wait sorry for the wait and i'm also sorry for the lack of lettuce i'm like well, wait what lack of lettuce Lack of lettuce? What, what do you mean lack of lettuce? Yeah, 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 we're all out of lettuce. We're all out of lettuce. Our manager went to go get some more lettuce, but he's not going to be back for a good bit of time now. We're out of lettuce. How are you out of lettuce? Your Taco Bell, dude. Lettuce is like a, it's like a staple there. That's like saying we're all out of shells. Are you kidding me, man? Come on now. Like we, we're paying full price. And why did you tell us you were out of lettuce while we were ordering the food? Why, why not tell us then? Now, now we got these tacos. These tacos, they just does not their tacos just do not work well without the lettuce dude i'm sorry but like you can take away the cheese maybe the sour cream you can't take away the lettuce dude it needs that crunch factor so the tacos were just not they were just not that good and now they're introducing these these chicken wings and apparently these chicken wings are kind of bad i have yet i have yet to try these chicken wings but like there has been a common theme with fast food joints that don't specialize in and like chicken wings or whatever suddenly bringing in chicken wings and you could tell there's something suspicious afoot you can tell that ain't chicken dog you can tell there's something up with those chicken wings i don't know what kind of platypus forehead or horse ankle meat they are using for those chicken wings but I i'm not too sure if i want to try them to be honest dude i've been looking at the pictures of them online I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to try them, but I've seen some reviews of the wings so far. It's it's really mixed. Some people say it's all right, and then some people say it's absolutely terrible, and they're using some sort of animal mystery meat, gorilla lung, or possum knuckle, or some nonsense, dude. I don't know what's going on with Taco Bell. Taco Bell and Bojangles, two places that I used to like a lot. So Bojangles, when we first moved to Georgia, was immaculate. It was incredible. Taco Bell has been a staple in this family for a very long time, dude. And now they're just, they're just dive bombing dive bombing bojangles is just terrible at this point dude it used to be all right bojangles has just lost all of my respect it's a lost cause i'm still holding out hope for taco bell i, ca I can understand why they're having some issues dude like i said we are in some trying times i can understand the issues bojangle has lost my sympathy though forget bojangles but i'm still i'm gonna try and hold out hope 
for Taco Bell. I'm going to try to, but it's it's looking bleak, dude. It is looking bleak. Let's just say that I have not had a good experience at Taco Bell in a good bit of time now, and it's my hope is slowly fading. Let's say that. It's a little rough. Hopefully they can they can get it together, but I mean, only time will tell, dude. Only time will tell. Jesus Christ. <laughs>